Hey guys, what is up? And today I am super excited as I'm going to be doing a full desk setup makeover. So be sure to watch until the end of the video. Before we start this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to MadeSite for kindly sponsoring today's video. And as you can see, my old workspace was really in need of an upgrade. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as we are really close to hitting a thousand subscribers. So I have had this dual desk setup that I bought from Amazon for just over two years now. And being someone that spends quite some time on their computer scripting and planning videos, it truly can get overwhelming sitting down in one position for hours and hours. In terms of looks, it just didn't look that good at all. As you can see, I had a workspace of two separate desks joined together, which I think looked really bad. I also had wires all over the place, but the reason behind it was so that I can have one workspace where I do all my video editing and gaming, and the other space will be for unboxing videos. Even the quality of the table was really bad. As you can see, there are a ton of scratches and it just doesn't look good. So I figured it was time to get rid of my old setup after MadeSite kindly hooked me up with their new S2 Pro electric height adjustable desk, which not only looks good, but it will enable me to switch between sitting down and standing to help with the increased blood flow while boosting my productivity. You do have the option to customize this desk setup to your liking, including options such as a black frame and a wood tabletop or a white frame and a wood tabletop. There's also a white on white combination as well, along with a black on black combination, which is the one I opted for right here. First things first, let's go ahead and dismantle the old setup so we can create some space for the new desk. When the standing desk arrived, it was quite heavy, so be sure to carry it with caution. I mean, I was struggling myself. As you can see right here, it comes in two boxes. The larger one is for the tabletop and the smaller one is where you'll find the electric frame. The company truly takes pride in ensuring that the product arrives to the customer safely by packing it with plenty of styrofoam to ensure it is well protected. Setting it up is very straightforward. You can follow a step by step video showing you how to put it all together in just 15 minutes but I ended up using the printed instructions provided and got a plus one to help me with the heavy parts. When it comes to the digital control unit, you have the option to place it on either the left or right hand side. The holes are already pre-drilled on the tabletop so you just have to screw it in. Once everything was done, I'm going to go ahead and start off by fixing my monitor stand on the tabletop and then attaching the monitor to it. Make sure that your monitor is stable and sits right before doing anything. And of course, adding the gaming PC desktop is a must. I put it right on top of the desk grommets so that I can seamlessly put down the power cable. This came in perfect clutch to help make my desk setup look more clean without any wires. I would then proceed to add the desk mat along with the keyboard and trackpad. And of course, you can't forget the GoV light bars to help set the mood. I also got a headphone stand and a wireless 3-in-1 charging station by Anchor. I will leave a link to all these desk accessories in the description below. Of course, the whole workspace does look a little incomplete and I just felt like something was missing. So me being me, I decided to hit the road and drive to Ikea to get some Alex drawers. There were a few colours to choose from but I figured white would be the perfect one as it fits really well with the grey background along with the black frame and tabletop of the desk. Also, the Alex drawers were spacious enough to help me store my tech and camera gear as well. I also bought a shoe rack and I also wanted an artificial plant that wasn't too big. So I ended up going with the Fetchka plant. Once I grabbed everything that I need, I put everything in the boot and made my way to the studio. Setting up the Alex drawers was very straightforward. I was able to smoothly slide them on both ends of the desk and I must say, I was very happy with them. Once everything was set up and ready, here is the final finish. Honestly, I am really happy with it so far. This is not simply a standing desk alone, it does have a lot of cool specs and features. The tabletop I opted for comes at 140 by 70 centimeters, 
and it is made from eco-friendly MDF wood. Its rounded design prevents any accident if you have any children or pets roaming around and it is a fairly thick tabletop, so rest assured that it is sturdy enough to ensure stability and support. Though I must say, it does attract a lot of fingerprints. This desk is able to hold a high load capacity of up to 100 kilograms, which is absolutely amazing. According to Meta, it can hold up to 3-4 to four monitors along with a few books and other office supplies at the same time. As you can see right here, I have added my gaming desktop along with my monitor, keyboard and a pile of books. As you can see, it goes up very smoothly without any issues and it's the same when it comes back down. Now looking at its height stability, when putting it at a working level height, it is very stable. Increasing the height to the maximum level, there is a fair bit of shake, but it's not to the point where it is unbearable. I'm 176cm tall, so when I'm working standing up, I tend to increase its height to about 110 centimeters, and as you can see, it remains fairly stable. This is of paramount importance, especially when typing or writing things down on paper. A major flaw in a lot of desk setups out there is the stability of the standing desk during height adjustment. Maidsite have been able to address this issue by ensuring the electric computer desk S2 uses a dual motor frame and a double T support structure so you could truly count on your height adjustable desk to not wobble and end up dropping any objects. Now looking at the digital control customization, you can truly customize this desk setup to your liking with the four memory settings to choose from. You can easily set this up by going to your preferred height and then pressing M and then proceed to select one of the numbers so that it can be allocated to one of the four different memories. You also have the option to set a timer in intervals of 30 minutes, one hour and two hours. Once the time is up, the desk will begin to vibrate to remind you. This is a very good feature to keep your blood flowing. And of course, you can always turn it off if you do not wish to have this feature on. There is also a USB dock on the right hand side this will enable you to charge your device while you work. According to Maidsite, the sound of the motor is less than 50 decibels, which is actually fairly quiet. Here is a quick sound test. The anti-collision feature is a super handy system to work with. When it encounters obstacles on its way up and down, the motor will reverse to keep your desk and your object safe. Of course we all know the importance of cable management to ensure that your desk setup looks the part. The cable management system provided helps to organise all the wires and cables by putting it in the spacious area under the top to keep your desk tidy and clean. The adhesive clips provided help with the cable management and they are perfect to help keep everything at bay. I also ended up buying some other cable management accessories from Amazon to help further organise the cables and I will leave a link in the description below for the cable management accessories. After spending about 30 minutes organising the wires, here is the final finish and as you can see it looks very clean without any wires hanging down. This standing desk does come at a price of £349 and you can also get 10% off by using my discount code right here. We have come to the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video so we can beat the YouTube algorithm and hit that subscribe button as we are really close to hitting a thousand subscribers. I'm going to be reviewing the new MX mechanical keyboard along with the MX Master 3S. I think this is probably going to be the best keyboard and mouse setup out there. So stay tuned for this video and I will hopefully catch you guys on the next one. Take care.